We just want to get you the latest highlights, especially we want to check in with our eclipse crews as they make their way across the state. Our totality team has been in Holton since Friday, and since they've been there, they've slowly been watching the town transform. Our David Guilford joins us live now. David, less than 24 hours until the eclipse, things must be starting to heat up. Sam, look around me. The sun is out. Do you see this? For the first time since Tuesday on our trip, the clouds have parted, the snow has ended, and we have sun, and it has not come a moment too soon. In addition to the crowds that have started growing today, we had a chance to catch up with legendary Maine humorist Tim Sample, who's in town performing. The Fort Fairfield native is looking forward to the eclipse and said it's a rare unifying event where we all just exist together and share in the awe-inspiring moment. It's an event that puts all of the sort of human interchange and internecine warfare kind of on the back burner for a few minutes. And I like things like that. And I think part of what we forget is that we're all just fellow travelers in this earthly mortal coil. And, you know, we're having these connections with other people. And this one is a chance for everybody for 3.3 minutes or something to kind of stand still in awe of this big, big stage that we're actually on, which is planet Earth hurtling through space. And that's kind of cool. And from local celebrities coming out of the woodwork to actual woodworking, in addition to local businesses benefiting from the crowds, there are some local artists selling their goods at a craft fair all weekend here in town. We met Pembroke native Stephen, who said Holton is typically his best money maker as he goes around selling his creations and even made some eclipse art for this week. But this is my winter work right here. I do. I've done since January 1st, I've done 150 pieces. Now, Sam, I was going to say what's more Maine than cribbage boards and Tim Sample, but we have another <laughs> dyed in the wool Mainer who has made the trip up to Holton. Amanda Hill is here. The team is assembling. The team is assembled. <laughs> Keith joins us tomorrow for all of this. But uh, yeah, what a what an exciting moment to be a part of, right? I mean, this is so cool. And this whole town has embraced Monday. They've embraced this whole spectacle around yes. it and the people are starting to show up. Yes, we didn't hit too much traffic coming up on I-95, so that was good to see. But I'm sure tomorrow is going to be the busy traffic day. And how cool are these glasses? These actually work. So people can stand behind these and watch the eclipse happen. It's going to be incredible. But just how many people, nobody really knows for sure we're going to all experience it together. It'll be fun, though. We'll have fun. It'll be awesome. <laughs> Sam? You guys always have fun. And did I see producer Rebecca Stefanski in the corner? She doesn't want to photobomb and get in on this live shot? Huh. Huh? We just yeah, lost her. She's been sneaking around in the background all week. All right, our David Guilford and Amanda Hill live in Holton for us. And we will see plenty more of you guys tomorrow during our Eclipse special. Thank you so much.